Carlos, this was a, a long-awaited moment for fans, I think, for you to be back here. Now you're just a couple days out. Man, what's what's the emotion like? What's the feeling like as you're getting ready for another fight? Uh, like this second, I'm, I'm calm. Uh, but, you know, these last couple weeks leading up to fight week, I've been chomping at the bit. I'm really excited. I have a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of fire, and I'm, I'm excited to go in and do some violence. That's awesome to hear. I know, you know, after the Maya fight, it just looked, I don't know, burned out. I don't know if it was physical, mental, but it just seemed like you were, like, tired or just didn't want to be there. I mean, was it was it physical burnout? Was it mental burnout? Where were you? Uh, I mean, I had a bunch of shit going on. Um, yeah, there's just, it's just like, that was a heavy year. You know, 2016 was, you know, it was kind of fucked up. And, um, you know, 2017 has been heavy too, but um, I've, I've, you know, really re- Reestablished priorities, and um, you know this camp has been really, you know, I don't know, really good, and you know, just just ready to fight. And as far as like like after that fight, I you know I, I always put a lot of effort. I, there's no fight camp that I that I phoned it in. I always put a lot of effort in, and I was just uh, you know obviously super disappointed that I didn't go out there and compete. Like I didn't show what I could do, which sucks, um, and that was part of you know part of my disappointment. Totally understandable. Well, along the way, I think the biggest concern was, you know, I think people thought, what if, what if he never fights again? I mean, were there moments along this time off where you thought, maybe, maybe I don't go back to that anymore? Yeah, you know, um, I've been at this for for a long time, and you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I got to get off this ride at some point, and it's just like when, and you know, this ride it, it hasn't stopped for me yet, you know, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm here, and I'm, I'm all in on this one. What clicked? When did you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely fine. Because you got a lot going on. You got, you know, businesses outside. You got family. You got all those things. So when yeah. did you say, no, I'm, I'm still doing this? Uh, yeah, I started training. Uh, I took a little bit of time off from training, and then I, I got back in. I started rolling, and doing a lot of jujitsu, and, uh, and things started clicking. And you know, I started talking to my management about getting a fight. And um, yeah, I mean, and here we are. Nice. Did you change anything? Did you, your approach, I mean, to make sure that you are, you know, mentally happy and physically good? I mean, did you change anything as far as approach or life balance or anything like that in the preparation of this? Or are you all in on training camp? Uh, I, I modified my camp a little bit. Uh, I decreased the volume of training that I was doing, but, uh, you know, made sure that the training sessions that I was doing were, you know, had, were intense enough and super productive. Uh, so I think that in, in, in overall, that's, that's manifested in like coming into the fight and fight week, feeling healthy. Like, like my, my body feels good. Um, I'm, you know, I, I didn't leave it all in the gym. I'm ready to go. And, uh, you know, and I know I'm in good shape. So when you got here to Vegas, I wonder, I mean, was, was, was it fun? Was it, you know, nostalgic? Was it exciting to start getting settled in? Or was it, oh God, here we go, another fight week routine? I mean, what's this, what's it been like for you? It's been um, it, you know, kind of just like another another day at the office. Honestly, you know, this is at, at, at closer to the fight. You know, I'm probably gonna start getting getting butterflies and getting on that uh, emotional roller coaster. But uh, no, for at, at this point, it's just do going th going through the paces and you know talking to you guys and you know doing all that stuff, posing for fucking pictures and. All the exciting that stuff. That mess, yeah. Is the passion still there for you after this time away? Oh yeah, it definitely is. I mean, in in training camp, uh, yeah, it, it never went away. I don't. I mean, this is this is you know this is this is one you know one of my one of my passions in life. You're not an old guy, but you have been doing this for a long time. I mean, you say can't do this forever. I mean, uh -huh. are you starting to put a number on it, a time frame on it, or do you feel like? Let's just get in there on Saturday night, and then we go from there. Yeah, it's really just focusing on what I got right in front of me, um, and and I think that is, is going to be a good test for you know what this looks like after the fact. What we got in front of you is Neil Magny. Talk to me. What, what do you see? I mean, a guy that's been around for a long time, maybe not quite the fame that you have, but certainly a, a tough guy. What, mm -hmm. what do you see in Neil? Uh, Neil's really well rounded. Uh, he's got. Uh, Phenomenal endurance. Uh, he pushes the pace. It's going to be an exciting fight. Um, I have to be a step ahead of Neil. You know, if if, if Neil is, is taking the initiative and he's a, he's a he's a step ahead of me and he's pushing the pace, um, then you know then it's not going to it might not bode well for me. But if I can stay a step ahead of him, um, I'm I'm going to be successful. 
He's a guy, I mean, you fought the superstars of the sport. He's not a superstar, but a tough guy. But, I mean, so is it hard? Like, is motivation different when you're trying to get ready for a George St. Pierre, a Nick Diaz, a, you know, somebody along those mm -hmm. versus a Neil Magny? I don't look at, I mean, you, you're fighting a man. You're fighting a martial artist. I'm not fighting a reputation. You know, I, got, I, look, at, I look at skills. I look at tactics. I look at, you know, uh, timing, distance, skill set, and that's about it. Like, I don't... I, and all that other stuff doesn't really, you know, like doesn't factor in because no matter who it is, I mean, if they're if they're here, they're they're a badass, right? You know, once you get done on Saturday, what factors into what your next move is? I mean, is it all about results? I mean, is it wins and losses, or is it about, hey, you know, maybe I came up short, but I felt good. I, you know, I feel like I delivered everything I could. I enjoyed it. I mean, is it is it just results based, or is it you know kind of evaluating the whole thing? Um. I don't, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, prob probably results based, and then, and also damage. You know, like you know, as as you you accumulate fights, you accumulate damage, and that sort of thing builds up. So, I get in there and and uh, take care of business, like I believe that I will. Um, you know, I, I trained hard. I you know, I hope to fight easy, and uh, you know, get out of there without without. A, that taking too much damage, then you know, probably still got a little, little bit left, but I don't know. We'll see. Are there goals that still need to be checked off for you? No, no you know, I've I've surpassed, I've surpassed the expectations that I ever had for this sport. This sport wasn't even what it is today when I started. Like I never thought that, like no, I'd, I've surpassed what I ever even imagined. Very nice. Well. Obviously, uh, fans are excited to have you back. We're excited to have you back. Uh, how do you see this thing going down? I mean, you, you said the word violence. That's what people kind of expect from you. How do you, how do you see this thing playing out on Saturday? It's going to be fast-paced. Uh, I think, you know, we're going to both get in there. You know, those, those things that I said about, about Magni, you know, also apply to me. I'm well-rounded. I'm, uh, you know, got, got good endurance. It's going to be a fun fight. I think it's going to be dynamic, uh, but I'm going to finish it. That's it.